I'm not sure how good the sound quality is because I'm sat right next to the washing machine, but I'm gonna just bring this closer. Hello, what's going on people? And I hope everyone is, is fantastic. So this week's been a bit of a crazy week. Um, yeah, there's been a lot of um, compliancy changes. There's been a lot of drastic internal changes in many offers right now. And if you're in the remote space or you sell high ticket, or you're maybe a business owner yourself, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. But to give a bit of context, the FTC, which stands for the Federal Trade Commission, um, which is essentially like a um, essentially like a, a government body that makes sure that everybody is just being compliant when it comes to guarantees, promises, and leaving people in a really shitty situation with businesses and trades and etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. So if you're in a high ticket space, you completely understand this, but Business owners in the past have been saying things that aren't completely true um, and basically not just being honest and not operating with integrity. So because of the lack of integrity of some people within the online space, there's been a lot of uh, legal action taken and it's kind of got everybody's back up. Like other business owners have seen that and thought, oh shit, we need to not do that. You know, like we need to make sure that we're being honest, operating with integrity and etc. etc. The interesting thing is though, if you sell honestly and if you operate with integrity and if you're just a good bloke and you don't do any of that and you don't guarantee things or false outcomes or I promise if you do this, you're gonna have that because that's not on, is it? You can't be leaving people in the shit just because you wanna get a bit of um, extra commission. So if you were doing all that, you need to change now and stop doing that anyway because all you're really doing is killing the space and killing the industry and making us seem like scumbags. Sounds a bit strong, I know, but that's kind of what you're doing. Um, on the other hand, if you already sell like a uh, an ethical person and you allow somebody to make, or you help somebody make an exciting change in their lifestyle, investing into themselves in a good way, then you're sweet. If you operate with integrity and you operate with honesty and you, you're just a good person and you don't force people to do anything, you don't... Um, give them guarantees that aren't gonna happen, you don't promise them things, then you're sweet. But the overall message is, if someone comes from a place of desperation, it's probably quite challenging anyway. If someone starts off something desperate, then the results will end in desperation too. To begin with desperation will end with desperation. So, you know, I think it's a good time. Change is happening. There's a lot of chaos right now because everyone's a bit panicky and worried. Uh, personally speaking, I think that's brilliant because when there is chaos, there is also room for growth. When others aren't going to be able to get used to it and they can't keep up with the new bar, which has now been set, okay, that's fine. So there's less competition on the market now because others can't can't really keep up, you know. So more of the story is, and I know it isn't this uh, black and white, but if you sell without morality and you sell unethically, you may have a few problems up your sleeve you might have a bit of trouble coming your way on the other hand if you're a decent person you operate with integrity honesty and you are completely aware of the fulfillment and you are just very moral with what you do and you're helping people then you have nothing to worry about at all and that's it so um have a great week everybody i'm gonna try and drop some more of these videos and peace let's get it 2024 still here let's go